Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm filming a few videos today because I've got some free time so if you see for the next few videos the same outfit makeup um, then that's why. Um, first before we start I'd like to say hi and welcome and thank you to all of those who, of you who are new. I have noticed my subscribers go up in the past few days um, so thank you for dropping by and I hope you stick around in the long run. I'd also like to say a big thank you to Amanda from Amanda D. I'll link her channel down below. Um, she's actually been a really, really great friend over the past few weeks, and she's been telling people to come and visit my channel. So I really appreciate that. So big shout out to her. Um, this video, I think, is going to be an empties video. Um, and this is my empties for the month of May. I didn't use up as much this month, so we'll see what we've got. Okay, so I have my box here, um, and I'm just going to pull stuff from the box randomly. Um, what I do is I tend to do beauty empties, and then I'll do a few um, home fragrance wax empties at the end. Um, so the first thing I have here is the Batiste uh, Dry Shampoo in Blush. It's in the 400ml, uh, which is the larger size. I got two of these like in a pack um, when I last went to Costco, so this is the second one that I've used up of these. Um, I love the Batiste. I have tried other things, but I just generally find that it doesn't work as well. And I prefer to go for this kind rather than the, um, like, you know, the tinted kind or the volumizing kind. Because those ones just do weird things to your hair. Like, it makes them all matted and hard to, you can't even run your fingers through it and stuff. It's just, um, so yeah, go for the sort of original kind of uh, ones of these. Um, but yes, I will buy this again. Um, I have an order coming from Tesco's and that has some of these in. So yeah, we'll definitely get these again. Um, this next item is the uh, OGX Fight Fallout Niacin 3N Caffeine Shampoo. Um, I do have the conditioner here as well. Um, so I tried these on a whim. I tried the Biotin um, ones. It's biotin and something, and I can't remember, biotin and macadamia maybe? Um, no idea. Um, so I tried that one, and that was okay. It smelled really good, and the conditioner was really nice. So um, when I saw that they did a niacin and caffeine one for fallout, uh, which my hair breaks a lot, and uh, it tends to fall out quite a bit as well. So... Um, because it's super fine. Uh, so I thought I'd try this and see how I get on with it. Um, didn't really like it all that much. Uh, I didn't notice that it did anything in terms of, you know, fighting my fallout. In fact, I think I noticed more fallout. Um, and it also made my scalp really itchy. Um, so I probably won't get these again. Uh, the next item is the Superdrug Cleansing Facial Wipes. They are the Micellar Water ones. Um, these are Holy Grail. Definitely would buy these again. I've got a nail varnish remover here. Uh, the Cutex Moisture Guard. Um, didn't really like this one so much, but I'm going through one at the moment. It is this one here. It is the Nourishing one. This is really good. And it kind of smells like... Like a Irish cream, kind of. Like, I don't know if they put vanilla scent in it, and then the alcohol from the, um, you know, it smells like a vanilla alcohol. So it kind of smells like Bailey's. It's really weird. And then when the alcohol dries off your nails, your hands smell like vanilla. It's really strange. But I am enjoying that one. This one was just okay. So if I, if I get the Cutex again, which I probably will, I'll probably get the purple one, to be honest. Um, I have a sheet mask here. It is the Premium Care. I think it's Premium Care. I took the thing off the top. Um, retinol Spa Treatment Mask. I got these at TK Maxx. And they came in a pack of five. This was the last ever one. I used to stuck within a project pan. Um, didn't really notice that they did a lot, to be honest. And they were kind of oversaturated. Um, so my face felt weird afterwards. I've got the FFS Friction Free Shave Cream with Manuka Honey Shea Butter and Coconut Oil. I will always re get, get this um, 
because it comes in like a subscription with some razor blades um, and I really enjoy this. Um, the FFS um, is the company, it's friction free shaving. Um, they do the subscription and they make this themselves as well. So this is like an add-on. Um, I think this is like five or six pounds, um, but it is totally worth the money. I've got some makeup sponges here. This one is the Spectrum that came in a birch box. Um, it's just, you know, starting to break apart and I've noticed some tears in there as well. Just by there. You can't really see that. Um, and this one, again, is getting old. You can see it's fraying at the top here. Um, and it's got some scrap, some uh, breaks in it as well. Um, so what I might do with these is cut them up and use them for nail art. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to work. Has anyone actually tried that? Let me know. We'll give it a go, see what happens. Um, the Spectrum one was, it's okay, it's really, really tough. Um, and the, sorry, this is the Real Techniques one. Um, these are really, really nice. I would get the Real Techniques one again. Um, I do have some more, uh, when I went to the States the first time, I got a big thing in Ulta and it had like loads of them in. So I do have like four or five more of these um, in back stock. Um, but after that, I would definitely get this again. Um, okay, so I've got some things here which have actually decluttered. Um, now when I declutter things, I don't normally show you, um, and it doesn't go towards my count. But I wanted to um, show you this time around because I've been seeing a lot of declutter videos going around and I felt like doing a declutter, but then I was like, there's no point in filming it if there's not going to be hardly anything. So, um, yeah. So this is the Sleek Mascara. Um, I don't know. Full Fat Lash Mascara. There we go. Um, this came in a set that I got for Christmas from my friend, who I really, really appreciate. Um, but we have talked about this before. I just cannot stand dry mascaras. Um, and this one's like super dry and the wand doesn't help either. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but just here where the wand joins with the stem, uh, it is actually bent slightly. Now that is because I was trying so hard to get stuff on and then it just bent from being on my lashes because I was trying hard to get it on. And that, of course, made me go, ow, that hurt, and then there was mascara everywhere, and it was not good. So, we're not fighting with that, that's not happening. And I mean, I just tried to put it back in the thing, and it just like, look, no, just no. And it's dry as well, so, no, that's going in the bin. Um, the next one, we talked about this before as well, is another Avon mascara. Things are falling. Things always fall when I'm filming, I swear. Okay. Um, this one wasn't so bad. The wand is amazing. But it just has nothing to it. Like, it's just super, super dry. Look. I can't put that on my lashes. So, no. Now I have mascara all over my hand. Okay, um, the next one is this little Avon lipstick sample in Coral Fever. Um, I'm just throwing this out really because it's tiny and a few uses and there's other lipsticks in my collection that are a similar colour and I just thought, do you know what, I'm probably never going to use that up because I always pick stuff over it. Could put it in a project pan, wouldn't really be worth it, so that's going in the bin. And this last one is the the Balm uh, Staniac Tinted Gel. I hate this stuff. I really, really do. I hate the smell, I hate the taste, and I hate the feel that it's on my lips. And I mean, I've used a big part of it. It was in a project pan, that's why it's been used up. But after that, I just thought, you know what, I'm never, probably never going to use that ever again because it's gross. So that's also going in the bin. And those are the things I decluttered. And as I said, 
doesn't go into my count at the end, so everything that I show at the end is everything that I've used completely 100%. This next item is the Primark exclusive Cuticora One Pound Jelly Beans Hand Gel. This was okay, um, it kind of smelled like jelly beans. At first it was like, oh my hands smell like candy, and then after it kind of just meh, like, um, the novelty wore out and then the, then the scent was just like, yeah, it's okay. Um, so, I mean, I love hand gels. Um, I have bought, you know, um, like candy flavoured ones. I've bought um, just uh, cleaning kind of, set, like a clean scent. I've got aloe vera ones. Um, but I, I like to go for the Bath and Body Works ones, really. Um, so I'm due to go to San Francisco at the beginning of June, um, sorry, in the middle of June. And I'll pick up a load of, uh, the Bath and Body Works ones while I'm there. Um, so probably won't feel the need to buy this one again. Um, but in a pinch I probably would get it again, but maybe try a different flavour. Um, so yeah. I mean, it's cute Cora. So, and you can buy that anywhere, it's just this scent that was exclusive to Primark, so. Um, the next thing is this Body Shop Chocomania Soap. Um, I like to use these soaps for cleaning my makeup brushes, just because I find it gets them really, really clean. And it doesn't dry out the bristles because it's from the Body Shop and they use mostly natural ingredients. Um, and it's got a palm oil in it, it says on here, cocoa butter and palm oil, so that'll be why it was nice on my brushes. Um, so yeah, I would get this again, maybe in a different scent. This next item is the L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes So Couture in black. And this mascara was amazing. Um, it's getting dry now, um, so... I didn't want to fight with it because you know I can't be dealing with dry mascaras, so um, I'm chucking this one out. Um, but I have, you know, I've used it as much as I can. I loved this mascara, um, and I do have another one. So, and then when I finish all my other mascaras, if there's not one that beats this, I'll buy this one. I've got some lip balms, um, some lip products here. I've got the Arrow Boost lip balm. Uh, this is like a tinted lip balm. Oh, that's gross. Um, this is like a tinted lip balm. So it started off clear in the tube, or clearish in the tube, with a slight pink colour to it. And then when you put it onto your lips, it, ch it changes to your pH. So it ends up with being like a tinted lip balm. I just put a little bit on my hands. We'll give it a couple of minutes and I'll show you what it does. Um, I really, really enjoy it. It has like a minty. So it had a tingly as well, but not like a burny, you know, like a burning sensation like plumping lip glosses do. That's horrible. This is just kind of like a refreshing peppermint on your lips, like a cooling. Um, so as you can see now, it's just a pretty little pink colour. Um, so that was quite nice. I might get that again if it wasn't like £20. Um, and this is the Natural Collection lipstick in Sweet Pea. Um, and I didn't use all that. It just actually fell out of the thing, so I put it into a pot. It didn't like fall out onto the ground, it like broke out of the thing. And I thought, ah, oh, save that and put it in a pot. Um, and used it up with a lip brush and did it that way. Um, so I probably wouldn't get that again. Um, it wasn't that great and it kind of made my lips look a bit weird. But um, it did have like a shimmer in it. Um, so maybe that's why my lips looked weird, but... Who knows? I've got some Victoria's Secret mini perfumes here. I've got Bombshell. No, this isn't Bombshell. Which one's this one? Hang on a minute. Scandalous. I put a sticker over the top of the sticker. Um, just because because then I know when I got it. Um, so yeah, this isn't Scandalous. Um, this one was okay. Um, It was nice, um, it was nicer than some of the others, but I wouldn't get this one again. Bombshell is my favourite. I will always, always, always buy Bombshell. 
and this one is in tees. This one was nicer than the Scandalous. I just got that on my nose. Sorry. Um, so I'd get this over the Scandalous, but Bombshell, again, is my favourite. So This is the Monuswa Rosewood Reviving Mist. I uh, finished this up with a project pan. Um, I've not filmed that yet, so spoilers, I finished this. Um, that was okay. Um, I didn't like spraying it on my face because it stung my eyes. Um, so I sprayed it on a cotton pad and wiped it all over. Um, it was nice that way, it was quite refreshing. So, I mean, I wouldn't get it again because I don't like the spray and there's no point in like spraying it onto a cotton pad. I'd rather get one that I can just put onto a cotton pad. Um, but yeah, it was nice to use up. And I finished the Avon Glimmer Sticks Eyeliner in Aquashock. I finished this up with my Drop 10 before summer. And as you can see, that's not coming up anymore. Um, that was okay. I used it as like an eyelid base, um, like a coloured base, because I don't like having bright coloured eyeliners. Um, so I'm just working to get all of these out of my collection. Speaking of bright coloured eyeliners, um, I'm using this one at the moment. It is Cosmic by Urban Decay. That's literally all I have left. And that's... Um, I'm just going to use what's left of that. And then that'll be done as well. Um, so I can't sharpen it anymore. It's getting really, really tough in the thing. Um, so I'm not going to fight with it. So, yeah. Um, and that's all the beauty things. And now onto the wax stuff. I've got one, two, three, four, five candle bell things. Considering I've not had a candle bell subscription in like two months because I cancelled it because I had too much wax. Still being able to finish up five in a month is like, I still have some left now. So, and I wasn't like being slow with the wax before. So it must be that the, I don't know, some scents last long, so I didn't need to change them. Maybe it's like worth the money, I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to go through these. First one is Pink Candy Floss. This is really, really nice. I had this burning a couple of days ago. It smelt really good. Um, and it threw quite nice, uh, quite nicely as well, um, but it didn't last very long. So we, it was disappointing that it didn't last very long because I was like, oh, it's finished now. Um, but yeah, that was really nice. Uh, doodle bug. Oh yeah, doodle bug. It smelled nice and cold on the thing, but then you put it in the thing and it melted and it didn't smell of anything. So don't know what that was about. Vanillary. It's like a vanilla cheesecake type smell. Um, again, I think like the doodle bug, like it didn't smell once it was in the thing, but it smelled okay on the cold. Loving spell. This one was nice. It's like a citrusy, fresh, cleany scent. Um, and it threw quite well as well. But again, like the um, bubblegum, the candy floss one, it just didn't last very long. I'm really disappointed because I saved all these really nice smelling ones till last. And they're just not performing as well as the other ones, like, you know, the cotton ones. Um, however, having said that, this one was incredible. This one we put on in the living room and then went to pack our suitcases for Poland. And we could smell it from all the way in the other room, which, bearing in mind, it took up all of the living room, which is huge, the hallway, the bathrooms, one bedroom and the other bedroom. And we could smell it in the other bedroom. It was incredible. And this is, again, Candle Bell, and it is the chocolate brownie. I'm quite tempted to make an order with Candle Bell, pick out the nine things and make all of them chocolate brownie. Fairly sure Andrew would be really pleased with that. Yes, let's do that. We'll see what he says when he sees this video. He'll probably scrub his face and go, do we really need any more? But then having said that, he really did enjoy this. He loves chocolate, so. Pretend that didn't happen. Um, this is the, I'm sure this was in there from the last time. No, 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 no. This is the wax tart in Summer Scoop. Last time I had the centerpiece and summer scoop um, because I was supposed to use them at the same time but I didn't 
Um, I said before, and I'll say it again, I really like this scent, so I will get this again. And I've got two things here, and um, both of them are from R Riverside Wax Melt. Um, one of them's going in the thing over by there. It, I can't really smell it. And um, that's the Dove one, and the other one is Pink Grape. That one did smell quite nice, so that one I would get again over that one. Um, I'm planning on placing an order with Etsy at some point. We are dwindling down with the wax now. Um, so I will do a haul with that. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I'll probably, I've got a load of saved shops in my Etsy. Um, so I'll probably just go one by one, try each shop and see which one's the best and then make a big order from them. Um, yeah, but I'll let you know and you'll see what I get. It will probably be all bakery or all food. Just warning you now that that's my favourite kind of thing to smell. So, um, yeah, so if you're not into that, then probably one to avoid. Anyway, that's all my empties for this time round. So I will see you in the next video, which will probably be up shortly. Um, and my empties will be next month. Okay, take care and I will see you soon. Bye.